Okay, uh, hi everyone. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to allow and remove to window 2012. Okay, here yeah, this is my domain and this is my client. So I need to my client remote desktop to window to uh, domain controller. And now I'm in a normal user in the main uh, okay. okay now I'm not in so what is my domain okay so now let's try to remote Start to remote server 2012 16101 Okay, so now try to log in this, this user It's so long. So wait a minute for connectivity. Client trying to remote to Windows Server 2012. That this is a role of domain controller. Wow, so slow, right? Okay, the credential that were un used to connect. Okay, so I want know. So normally, if you don't not get a remote desktop, so all connectivity will be blocked. If we need to remote desktop so first, we need to allow remote desktop first. Here, yeah. okay. Here, this finish allow desktop, but we need to specify user for allow. Okay, I have two user that can remove the stuff to the controller so I remove one and then one more it's the server okay but for the default uh, no more user can remove to the main controller oh, okay. still cannot so we need to follow the option uh, go to this one and this one here yes here this one we need to add a user server okay so it is it here mean uh, we need to allow a user to remote the stuff to window so 2012 that it has its total active directory switch so you can see here this cannot remote so after we enable the op option client will be can remote this to this server so now try okay i'm still this uh who am i oh mr so it's so we need connect to and change the user that server password hmm for 
Hold the chicken uh, fireball. Okay. Okay. Close all. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you see here now, uh, Mr. Sora can like can be more to. Windows 12, the installer activity 3. So we need to enable uh, the service or uh, lock on through remote desktop service in the server world. So this is just the user can be remote desktop. Thank you.